Welcome back to our channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, your time. Thank you guys for your continued support. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Turn on the bell for more video. Welcome our new members to the old ones. God bless you. If you're passing by, please join us. As you're supporting us, may the Lord support you in everything you lay your hands. Amen. Guys, I'm not going to keep us. I urge us to kindly pay attention and listen as you watch this video. Then we'll come back for commentary. Please watch. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today we have visited this uh, town, Goho, which found is a Muslim community and we can see some cattle grazing in, uh, in their courtyard. This is a place uh, where I think Nigerians need to understand that we need to live together. Because I've seen nothing here that can warrant people to agitate that they should be separated from our beloved country, Nigeria. Uh, Professor Osman Yusuf, I don't know whether you have anything to say. Uh, made famous by a detainee in uh, Benin Republic. Nigeria is one and will always remain one. We're just from the hinterland where we've seen example of how people should live, right? And this is why we're here. Nigeria is our country and we are working to see how we can all come together. All faith. You see the the town we went to, Elisha, uh, Burata, is it Burata? You see, you see churches, you see mosques, you see Fulanis, you see the natives, you see Yorubas, all coming together. This is the Nigeria we grew up in, not the poison Nigeria. This Igboho, yeah, Igboho people, and people say Nigeria is divided. It is the elites that are dividing Nigeria, not the common people. The common people are all the same. So, we are here as Nigerians and we'll continue to be one, inshallah. Thank you very much. The Hacksmen, they are going nowhere. They are part of us and we are part of them. We must live with them. We can't drive them away, and they can't drive us away. They are our neighbors, so we should never allow them to be our enemies. And if our enemy mistakes by our actions, we have turned them into enemies, then we are finished. Because our real enemy will use them against us. As your real enemy will, will use your neighbor against you, and nobody knows your secret more than your neighbor. He knows when you come back and when you go out. So we should never allow hacksmen to be our enemies. Welcome back, guys. I hope you listened attentively, so you will be able to understand what I'm about to say. First and foremost, who is Shegumi? He is the president of Bandit. He is known as the negotiator. He is that says the ransom that will be paid. He collects, takes his part, then gives the bandit the remaining. So he is the president. Now on the first clip we watched, he is telling the word in the national TV. He is actually in Sunday Buhu's town where he's telling the word why ranching should not be allowed, but open grazing should be allowed. He also showed us some of the cutters. So he has openly told us why anti-grazing shouldn't be allowed. Now to the second clip. He tells the word again in the national TV. Why bandit are your brothers and sisters, of course, and why you must with the confidence in him, with the pomposity in him, he tells the world in national TV why Nigerians must live with bandit. In fact, he made it clear in his own terms and words that bandit are amongst us. They have come to live amongst us and we must also live amongst them. We should never see them as enemies, but instead we should see them as brothers. Let me quickly refresh our memory. You guys remember um, the governor of Benue State 
that stood against bandit. He was almost murdered, but he fled by sheer of fate. Again, let me bring us to another um, person who is Maz Namdekano, known as Ahmadike of Biafra, that has been screaming since 2015. I use screaming because a lot of people call him mad, but he has been telling the world that the problem that Nigerians are having abandoned because of the incident killing, the impunity they carry out in raping our daughters, killing our fathers, and marrying even the, their wives with so much impunity, taking over and destroying everything destroyable without nothing being done. Where is he today? He was kidnapped in Kenya, extradicted to Nigeria, and today he is in the custody of DSS, being tortured. Now let, us, let me take us again to another person known as Chief Sunday Ibuhosha. That is another young man that rose up and said over his dead body that bandit takes over Yoruba land. What happened after the killing of a farmer's son, his only son, a doctor that went into farming and he was killed with impunity. That was what gave birth to Sunday Igbohosha, if some of you does not know. Then what actually happened? First of July, his home was invaded. Two people deleted. He fled by share of fate. His home was destroyed beyond measure. Then <clears throat> 12 people were taken into custody. 10 has been released and two are still paying for what they do not know of. They were charged with terrorism. Now the question, where is Chief Sunday? He is, he was declared a criminal, piling of arms, and he is in Cotonou on his way to Germany to meet his family. And he has been in detention all this while. I am bringing this to our notice that these people, one is asking for Biafra, the other is asking for Yoruba nation. They made all their points saying because of the impunity, the killing, the kidnap with so many things that are happening in Nigeria. Are you still in disbelief? Are you still shocked? Now, I want to quickly again allow us into this video for you to listen if you're just joining us before I come back with my last comment. Please. The Axemen, they are going nowhere. They are part of us and we are part of them. We must live with them. We can't drive them away and they can't drive us away. They are our neighbors, so we should never allow them to be our enemies. And if our enemy mistakes by our actions, we have turned them into enemies, then we are finished. Because our real enemy will use them against us. As your real enemy will, will use your neighbor against you, and nobody knows your secret more than your neighbor. He knows when you come back and when you go out. So we should never allow hacksmen to be our enemies. Okay, guys, welcome back. That was Shegumi again. I hope you got the words I wanted you to get. First, he said, they are going nowhere with so much alacrity. Now, I want you to see that even he is well protected by security. Who gave him that security that is protecting him? Of course, it is the government because it is highly influenced by the government. Now, he says in his own words, not my words, they are going nowhere. We must, M-U-S-T, live with them and them live with us. They are part of us. Did you still hear it? Are you still in disbelief? If I have read this for us, you guys will say bloggers and fake news. That is why I decided to get the clips and play it for us. What other evidence do we need that those that are fighting for what they believe in, armlessness, armlessly, pardon me, are in detention and they are wallowing away? That is why nobody is speaking up any longer. And those that are with arms are embraced. 
think about it. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to see us on my next video. Please like, share, and comment. Bye.